Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to Something Else Amiga. What do we got going on on the show today? I forgot to turn my power on. Today on the show, we have another package that is a unique and weird and crazy one. We're firing up the Joya Lens microscope once again on the HDMI, and I apologize for my phone. I need to turn that thing off. Hey, it's yes, it's Kevin. This package is from Mr. Q, hold and modify himself. If you watched his video, he was trying to straighten some pins and... I don't know what happened, but here it is. This is a BFG 9060 mm, from our good friend, Mr. Cavanaugh's. This is another Cavanaugh's build. Never been used because someone broke some CPU pins off. That's where I come in. How about a goober? You stupid or something. I want to toss this pickle on the old screen and you'll see it right here. It is a Motorola 68060 Rev something. It's got a lot of funky cold Medina. But if you look right here, oh, S, there are some bent pins. And there are some missing pins. What are you going to do, Chris? I tried this not too long ago. And the pin that I used was like an SIL turn pin kind. And while it functioned, sort of, it was like, you know, she was a little loose and couldn't touch anything. I'm going to use the power of this and this wonderful Joya Lens digital microscope with HDMI out, recording capability, all sorts of fancy stuff. A remote so you can hit reverse video and all sorts of neat stuff. And I bet you I took the batteries out. Sure did. We're going to see if we can weld some pins back on. Now, there are a couple that are really jacked up, like that one right there. I think it's bent over in the letter S shape. Nope, she's flat, and that's going to be fun. It'll probably snap off. Let's keep on going around. Most of these I went through and got straight, and apparently I didn't get them all straight. These are all good. You're like, oh no, they're missing pins. No, they're not. They're, we're just right over top of it. All right, there in the center of your screen. Soldered on, and they're as crooked as a politician, the rest of them. But we're going to do our best to get them straightened out. How are you going to do that? In my box of pin headers, I have the female kind. I'm going to lay a bead over top of them and get them all lined up. And basically make a socket out of these so they're all straight and I can manipulate rows and bits as I need to. I need to get that pin back on. I'm going to attempt to superheat the solder that is on another Intel chip or an old PowerPC chip that I have from a dead Mac, which is the same era, nanometer. And we're going to extract that pin with some superheat, and I'm going to slap that mofo back on. Now, the benefit is, if it works, that's great. Now, please, I'm not going to be your CPU repairman just because I've got this microscope. I don't want to be. Still can't see. How many goober? 3X readers and a magnifier? Huh. You're asking for a world of trouble. But I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully, if I'm successful, this CPU will then mate with the BFG forever. And you'll see a video on Mr. Q's channel, probably before this one even comes out. I dug through the archives and look what I found. 68060 and uh, RC50. It don't work. I tried it in my machines when I was doing all this crap and it's dead to the world. That's a good thing for Kevin because it has all of its pins intact and I can beat the crap out of this and not give two S's about it. We're just going to, this is horrible looking, I'm going to clean the tip of my soldering iron with my tip cleaner. Oh, that's hot. I use Brillo pads, copper Brillo pads for these because it's like $7 cheaper and this is barely going to make it. I could have put the microscope down lower. You're seeing scratches. It's just my solder tip that's super crusty. I'm just going to slap some flux on this and get it all over the place. That's great. And I'm just going to heat the crap out of a pin. I don't think 400 is going to do it. It's bubbling. I'm going to need some serious heat. 
480 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess because USA power supplies are maximum of 1500 watts of draw. So, you know, we don't get uh, super duper current. And that's not working. Is this a good idea? Probably not. But that's why we're using a junk chip, okay? Now this crap I'm wiping is just that. It's just the solder tip. I'm not see I can do it on ceramic. It'll wipe right off. I ran to the garage, got the map gas. Let's see what this does. This is probably not a good idea. <laughs> Wow, what are these on here with? That is some serious stuff. I'm just trying to heat them until they melt off. I'm afraid this is going to shatter in my face. I have the silicone red hot. With that, while it's hot, grab a pin. How are these put on? This is going to be hard as hell, dude. So I snapped off a whole boatload of pins. They're all over the place here. There's a couple of burnt ass pins. I'm going to grab some ones that I didn't torch. I don't know. I've given up on torching it and what I'm doing is I am uh, plopping a ball of solder on this thing. Why Chris? Because I'm going to stick a leg on it. And the idea of sticking a leg on it is I'm going to get it in a socket and it's the only pin that's broken. We're going to get it in the socket and that's where it's going to live. And the pressure from pushing it in the socket is all going to push up on the chip, and we'll be good. Now, since it's such a fine chip, and I'm going to use, I was thinking about using an SL turn pin from a socket, because it's the same girthiness, see? And even though it's longer, it's going to force over top of the cap. That's my goal. That's what I'm thinking. Is it going to work? I don't know. Way too fat. It's like... Putting a condom over a bowl. Tip is tinned. Let's see if I can get y'all in here with me. There we go. There you go this way. Holy crap, this is tough. Hoo ha! Does that look good? No, it does not. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! But, let me see if I can straighten it. It's not perfect. It's crooked as a politician. I need to get it over, I need to get in the center. But, the theory is sound. Alright, it's in the center. Yeah, it looks, it looks horrible. The idea is the pin is on. And all I need to do is be able to touch the socket one time. One CPU pin. Magic likes. I want to take a picture for Mr. Q. And that is how you totally put a pin on a CPU. Holy crap. Let me clean this off with contact cleaner. So this is still wet. There we go. Okay, so with the CPU repaired, and cleaned. You can see it's it's not perfect, okay? It's not it's kinda of, it's it's yeah. Clean up the flux here. Alright. Good God. Good golly, Miss Molly. Now they're still crooked. The idea is I'm gonna use a header like this. Ow! That's hot. I'm gonna use a header, look at the TV screen, and uh go over each row. 
Now it is the same spacing, so I can, once I get these relatively bent in the general direction of said uh, thing, I can then put this over top of it here. Remember I extracted one pin like this and move them to the appropriate dude, okay? So I have to do that 208 times. I got 82 texts. <laughs> he says, good luck everyone for me bending the pins. Well, let me get these semi straight. So I'm taking a pin header, right? See this pin header right here? And I am moving from row to row with each one and pushing it down and that and wiggling them to the right length and I keep doing that for each and then I move it to the next row and I get them all lined up see how they're all getting in there they're nice and straight I give it a push and that's flat see that means they're all straight you can see sort of blurry here the ones I've already done this direction so I do them all this way, and then I got to do them all the other way. So my pins are straight. The pin I repaired was down here, and it's in the straight er part. Now it's not perfect, okay? So when I go on this thing, it's kind of like, eh, I don't want to mess with it too much. My goal is to get the socket as close as I can. I'm going to lay this on the bubble wrap. This is going to go this way, and I'm just going to set it there, okay? And then I'm going to look at every single little pin and make sure that it is in the general ballpark, because if you're off just a hair, you're going to T-bone a pin, and this is going to take me a while. So this is a one and done Hail Mary uh, attempt, and I only need it to go in once. Does the CPU even work? I don't know. That's not my worry. My job was to repair a pin and get it in the socket, which is what I will do. I apologize for the extensive boringness, but I'm not stopping the camera because I don't want to mess up my view. A couple of them are kind of eh. But we'll see. How about you put the, the, the freaking thing in the right way? This is going to take me hours. Holy crap, it's been an hour. I have all the pins started. And I'm about to give her the final squish. If I screw this up, it's toast. Ah, ah, oh, oh. There you go. Boom. All right, so I got the pins in. I'm looking across. All right, they're all in. We didn't bend the crap out of any. They all went in relatively straight. This is an SIL turn pin socket. So it is like, like these things where you gotta stick it in perfect where you're effed. I literally would get half in, you probably saw, half in, half jacked. I needed to go down straight. So I would just stick it in on the jacked up side and went through with the pokers like super fine pokers and would bend and bend and bend and bend and look and make sure they were going into the hole you know perfectly because it would be like this and it would you don't want it to bang in there you at least want to get it in there so it'll long story short that's what I did Mr. Q your BFG 9060 is now fixed freaking crap man that's crazy with the blowtorch and the trying everything to bust off that they must be kind of some kind of spot welder that's the only thing I can think of but that solder method whew, worked I don't know what that pins made of it's like titanium or something steel whatever it ain't copper it was tougher than that I stepped on one didn't feel good 
So I will send this back after I wipe my fingerprints off of it and uh, Mr. Q should have a fan for this hopefully yeah hopefully so there we go Mr. Cavanaugh's signature on there and uh, yeah 3rd of November 2022 this was built and there we go brand new Kel connector and everything's cool so by the time this video comes out you're probably gonna have three or four from Mr. Q on hold to modify about his BFG experience and how it's just working so wonderful or not it would suck if I did all this work and it's a Rev 1 but he says it's a 5 so anyway that's all I got for now thank you guys for coming along and until next time thanks for watching and I hope you learned something